When I saw Michelle Obama tweet about it, I thought my mom was playing a trick on me. Because <laughs> I was like, this can't be real. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. Ice skating to me is freedom. It's really nice to go out there and just feel the music and connect. It's just an escape for me from reality. It's always lit up my life. The ups and downs and the sacrifices that have been made to get her to this point, you know, a lot of people don't know the whole story. They only see the glamour on TV, but there's so much more behind the scene that makes these athletes who they are. Hi, my name is Sar Andrews and I am a figure skater on Team USA. I started skating when I was three and a half years old. I am 20 now, so basically my whole life. Star as a child was very curious. This was a kid that wasn't afraid of anything. She would jump off of stuff. Oh my God, she always had me on the edge. <laughs> I actually started as an adult skater and did not want her to skate. To be in ice skating, you have to be crazy. <laughs> Constantly seeking for perfection. But the moment she took the ice for the first time, she was a natural. Please welcome Star Andrews. She was willing to try anything. She was skating in between other parents and she just got on the ice and started running. Fearless. And it's that same fearlessness that has led Star, like her namesake, to rise. With the hopes of one day making it to the Winter Olympics, she pushes forward determined, regardless of the sacrifices. I think we've both taught each other how not to give up on something, because I have my own challenges, and I'm very proud of her. I train six days a week and sometimes it's really hard because you see people your age going to parties and going to regular school and it takes sacrifice to get to this level. My first time ever competing senior at nationals I was really sick for my long programs. I could barely make it around the rink. It was a really tough moment for me. I really don't remember skating. I just remember finishing and being so, so happy getting my highest score that year. So especially in competition, when you finish that program and you hit your ending position and the crowd is just cheering for you. It's the best feeling. I want to see someone who did an under and a down on a triple triple. I've been working with Star for the last decade. It's been a long time. It's been 10 years. As a competitor, I would say Star definitely skates with her heart. She kind of melts into the song. She becomes the music. I love seeing when people write comments of, oh, I can really see how much she loves the sport because it's true. It's the first thing that I, I fell in love with. She's a fun-loving girl. Like, she frequently, even when she's on the ice, she'll love telling me stories about her pets when we're getting going in the morning. <laughs> She loves her friends, she loves music. I think she brings a lot of that love of life and that love for life onto the ice with her every day, which is why she's such a joy to work with. Star's musical talents and boldness have allowed her to push the boundaries within the sport. Along with occasionally skating to her own vocal covers, Star often performs to out-of-the-box song choices that speak to her. At nine years old, Star gained internet fame by skating to Whip My Hair by Willow Smith. My mom was like, let me put this on YouTube just because it's just like so cute and so cool. And it ended up going viral. I didn't even know what that meant at the time. I was just like, oh, cool. But now the video's at 56 million views which still sounds crazy coming out of my mouth. It's really cool. My Black Like Me program was during the time when the Black Lives Matter movement was happening. And the first time that my coach played it, I knew that I had to skate to it. It's just, I related to it so much. When I saw Michelle Obama tweet about it, I thought my mom was playing a trick on me. <laughs> Cause I was like, this can't be real. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. But Star's hope to expand the sport by simply being herself doesn't stop at song choices. It's been over 20 years since a black woman has made the U.S. Olympic figure skating team. And even though Star won't be competing in this year's Winter Olympics, she is still the one to watch as this rising star has so much left to do. Whenever I grew up watching the sport, I never really saw many people of color. 
I feel like I could just open up so many doors to you know people of color and BIPOC people. It's like okay, I'm in this position to where I can let people know that this sport is so beautiful and to let them know that this sport is for everybody. It's not just for one certain person.